Hello everyone, this is Joseph K with... Jeez! Hey everybody! And I am so sorry about how I ended that last part. I actually had something to take care of. So I had to rush that ending and I didn't do a proper sign out and whatever and tell you what we're going to talk about this time and had the proper reaction to the uh, what happened here. But in the last part, we finished up the Star World. And then we also took on this ghost ship. And I did very well with that. So now we're going to go and take on the Valley of Bowser. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun! I'm sure it's not that threatening. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, we don't have Yoshi anymore, which is sadness. Oh, 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 oh. Looks like that big giant Maldi Mole is doing something to that stair to that one staircase. He's got a boner! <laughs> I actually like this stage. This stage is one of my favorites. Hey, no complaints there. I'm just not a bit. I like the final levels most of the time. Seriously, Moni Mall! You can stop getting horny, my gosh. Come on, Chuck. Come get me. Seriously, a lot of people Whoa, a lot of people are getting horny over things in this level, apparently. <laughs> I know how those moles work, they live under a rock. You know, imagine if I was playing this level with Peach. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, that's not that was not nice. That was very not nice of you. <laughs> you mother. Sounds like that if Peach was in here, those money moles would get trapped in there. <laughs> of course, we gotta always start off my first episode my first level in an episode dying. Because that's just how I do. I always got to show you the wrong way. That is like a running gag. And the whole sucking dick thing. That's... And the whole Yoshi killer thing. <laughs> that's only because, you know, you made the uh, sucking dick thing a thing. <laughs> Thank you, Skype, for creating something totally inappropriate from both for both of us. <laughs> Especially me. <laughs> okay, if I can just... do that. I don't know if I have to be down or up. I probably should go back and check up, because I think this is how you get to the end of the stage. No, there's the thing up there, so, hmm. Nothing stage there. a checkpoint. <laughs> Seriously, you guys! Stop humping the freaking blocks! <laughs> see. Oh my gosh! You son of a monkey's uncle. Son of a monkey's uncle, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was funny. <laughs> okay, there's that one. I'm trying to... Of course it's At least he's that. not spunky. <laughs> That's your running gag. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Something tells me... There's the fourth. There's the fourth one. So I'll go down here and get this one. You're the one that made me want to say this shit, so... <laughs> oh, my Plus... heavens! That was bullshit! <laughs> you got rammed. I did. Unfortunately. And Mario did not approve and did not like. Did not want. Hashtag Mario does not approve. No, I do or not. Though. Only Peach gets it at me with her deal, though. <laughs> Whoa! Mario looks like Mario got hard. Hmm. Seriously, remember, kids, don't mess with Mario's hard dick. Remember, kids, don't mess with anybody's hard dick. Because <laughs> they are spunky, and you, and make sure they cover their monkeys. <laughs> So, while I'm at it, since this is not really that much of a stressful level, even though I am small, um, I want to talk about, you know, what I did over the weekend. You see... That was supposed to be talked in the last part where we were supposed to do the sunken ship one, but it looks like you were too distracted saying how good you were doing on that. <laughs> I was concentrating. So, what I want to do is, let's talk about that. So... Over the weekend, if some of you have been following my channel, um, 
I went to a concert. And not just any concert, a One Eye Doll concert. Now, in the past, I've mentioned One Eye Doll many times. And, oh, I guess you can't do that. Well, fine. I didn't want to do that anyways. So, can we go on? <laughs> anyways, I went to a One Eye Doll concert. Now, One Eye Doll is my favorite band. I've been seeing them, following them for about two years now. Um, they are a rock band, but they don't do they. They're rock. They're pop. They're really down to earth and a lot of fun. That's awesome. So. That's why I ended up doing uh, just last this last weekend. As uh, was mentioned before, it's Wednesday when we're recording this, so... Ha ha, that Chuck can't get me. That mole can get me. They want your hard dick. How many times do I have to tell you that? Ha 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 ha. Nice. <laughs> but, um... I went to two shows. One was in Joliet and one was in Indianapolis. Um, I'm not going to tell you which show was closer because that's none of your business. Although, if anybody's following my channel, you know which show was closer. So, I drove to both. I actually Ubered to one and drove to the other. Now, the first concert I brought my friend Kylie along, which I think I've mentioned her on my channel before. As a matter of fact, Kylie's the one that got me back to my uh, tongue twisters that I'm doing. Knows those are her favorite videos that I do. Woo, he almost landed on me. Dang it. Also, um, video froze. <laughs> Did it? Yep. Did you die? I did. Oh. <laughs> But anyways, like I was saying, so I went to the One Eye Dog concert. Now, it was a lot of fun. You know, I like Kimberly Freeman. That's the lead singer of the band. Because she is just one of the most down-to-earth, you know, humble... Glitch death. What the hell? Glitchy death. I thought the screen froze, but it was just a death. How did that even happen? Because game being a dick. Wow. I've never had that happen before. That is just so bizarre. I know, right? <laughs> but anyway, we'll go on with your story. <laughs> Unless that was it. <laughs> so, one, to the show, one of the shows I went with my friend Kylie... You know, and I've known Kylie for probably three or four years. Once upon a time, she was my boss. You told me that about, I think. Oh, that. <laughs> so, now, I don't know how what she thought of the concert because, well, we actually haven't talked about the concerts. Because, um, well, it's just, you know, she's been busy doing her thing. I've been busy doing my thing. But Makes I'm going to say she enjoyed it. So the second concert is the one I really want to talk about. Now, I had to go to Indianapolis. So, spoiler alert, I live near Joliet. Or near enough you that didn't I can, say where, so you're good. <laughs> near enough near Joliet where I don't have to uh, drive there. But I am close enough to Joliet that I can Uber. That was bullshit. I killed him. <laughs> that was bullshit. <laughs> I can't go that way, and there's not even anything over there, if I recall correctly. And then yep. I drove to Indianapolis. Now, the intention of going to Indianapolis was, you know, to get to concerts in Indianapolis, but also... To go meet uh, an acquaintance of mine. He's a friend of Alyssa's and Skye's.
And, um, well, something really, really good happened in that concert. Like, really good. Like, I felt like a really good human being, you know, which is, as some of you might know, it's not something I feel about myself often. But when it does happen, it it really means a lot to me. So basically, the second concert is what I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to talk about the first concert, because there really wasn't nothing too exciting going. I said, hey, I saw one I doubt. Um, the second concert is what stuff happened. So I drove to Indianapolis, and, well, there was this um, lady I met. You know, I met her in the last concert I went to in Indianapolis. I didn't remember meeting her. Until she started talking to me, and then she reminded me about, you know, certain things that I had forgotten about. Last time I saw her in Indianapolis was last year, and she told me that, you know, she initially had her daughter that was supposed to go, because her daughter's a huge one eye Doll fan. And why did you jump up there charging Chuck? That's not where you're supposed to go. There you go. He almost killed me. However, unfortunately for her daughter, she did not have her room clean last time. So therefore, she couldn't go see one I doubt. Okay, that's the ending. I don't want to go there. Because you're missing one last dragon coin. I know what you're talking about. Yep. Or is that the ending? Which ending is the right ending? Wait, is what it a hell? yellow? Oh, God. Dick moves is dick move is dickish. <laughs> I'm looking at your face right now on webcam. <laughs> your face. You were like shaking your head. Well, I guess I'll just beat this level. I'll just, I guess I'll just beat this level in the, whatever way I beat it. And then I'll come back and beat it again because I didn't. I wasn't aware this had a second ending. And then I'll get all the dragon coins that next time. That was so funny. <laughs> that was really funny. I'm sorry. It's just the way you shook your head right after you died. <laughs> <laughs> and in case y'all, in case y'all are wondering what she's talking about, because there is no face cam on this, I actually have her on face. I have myself on face cam via Skype, so she can see, but you guys can't. She, he just wants me to react because he thinks my reactions are goddamn hilarious. Precisely. <laughs> and she reacted in a way I thought she would. So I think that's the correct exit. <laughs> it is. But it was funny. I'm sorry. It was funny. <laughs> oh, wait. There's only one exit in here. Where the hell? Then maybe we weren't looking at it right. I'll maybe that last dragon coin was up there. I will uh, be back to you guys in a second. Alrighty, y'all, we're back, and I'm trying to figure out, you know, where this fifth one was, because apparently this is not a secret ex ending up here, a secret exit. I'm also trying not to get my ass stomped by no. Chucks. Yeah, yeah, I was like, well, did this have a secret exit and stuff? I was, like, a little confused about that, too, because I kind of forgot. <laughs> I only thought that one that had the red one that led to the, to the fortress right there was the, uh... The only one. That's what I thought. But like I said, I might be wrong. <laughs> okay, so that is not the secret. Ah, there's the final dragon coins. What the hell's in that blue tube? <laughs> to be honest, I wonder that too. Oh, it's just one of these. Never mind. I don't care. Oh. Well, that was care. kind of... I don't care. That was, that was silly. Looks like... We mm, had high expectations for no reason. <laughs> but anyways, I showed y'all where the dragon coin is. I'm not going to beat that stage again. We're going to go to the Valley of Bowser 2. Now, this stage, if memory serves, is not the easiest. It's the end of the game, But not though. the hardest, is it? Oh, no. We have yet to see some of the hardest stages. Yeah, like, a certain other video later that we'll do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe the stage isn't as bad as I'm remembering it being. Or maybe I'm just misremembering it being bad, and it really is a walk in the park. Shh. 
I don't know. You're gonna, you're gonna bite yourself in the ass if you say that, too. Don't say that. Yeah, right, because then I'll end up dying. Yes! And I like to start levels without dying every time. Yeah, because that's totally a running gag. Okay, so I'm hoping all my dragon coins I need are over here. Ah, yes, this is one I think I was thinking of earlier. But anyway, uh, after you said your your thing, I want to—I kind of wanted to say mine. Um, okay, so at Retro Palooza, uh, it, it was super awesome. It was this really awesome gaming convention that I got to go to, and I met so many great people there. I even made business cards of myself and of my friends, like you guys, and promoted you guys and Sky and Alyssa, well, Alyssa's Patreon and art page and stuff, and my friend Pika, of course, and. I made business cards with you guys' names on them and everything to check them out. I wasn't going to talk great. about one I doubt. How dare mm -hmm. you? Well, you did! You were kept on rambling on about... stuff. I don't know. <laughs> you want to keep on talking about that and then and then I can bring up my stuff? Sure thing. Because mm -hmm. there was actually something I really wanted to talk about regarding the one I doubt cons. Besides the fact that it was fucking fantastic. Okay, go ahead. I'll wait. <laughs> so, the next thing I want to say regarding the one I doubt concert... So in Indianapolis, that was a very special one to me. So I met that one lady that I met last time. This time she had her daughter. Very smart, intelligent, rocking little girl. Uh, she was uh, nine at the time. Because on Monday she turned ten. I don't remember which way I gotta be. Not that way. That's dead end. That's death. So anyways, while we were watching One Eye Doll, um, after the show, I decided to uh, join her and we went to go meet Kimberly Freeman and Junior. Kimberly Freeman's the lead singer of One Eyed Doll, and Junior is the drummer of One Eyed Doll. He also sings. He also can do guitar. Okay. And then something really, really cool happened regarding that. So, do in my, keep in mind that I said it was that girl's birthday on Monday. So her mom took yeah. her to that concert for her birthday. And, um... When we were in the um, the line to go meet the, the artists and get the merch and stuff, her daughter wanted her to get her daughter wanted to get a CD. However, unfortunately, her mother didn't have the money to pay for the CD she wanted. So I continued okay. talking to her about random stuff, and I went and bought my merch, and then I also went to go meet the band Dollskin, another fantastic band. I mean, they're punk rock lesbians, and it's awesome. And um, after I bought the merch, I looked at my wallet, and I'm like, hmm, I had $15 left in my wallet. Whoa, you almost got squished there. <laughs> I had $15 left in my wallet, and each of the uh, one I Dial CDs costs 15 bucks. This is the you part I was thinking of. You kicked ass there. Holy shit. <laughs> ah! Were there only three dragon coins? No, there was oh, actually... Wait a minute. There was actually more, but I needed to, uh... Be Yoshi. Beat the normal way. I needed to be Yoshi to get it. Uh... Oh, yeah, there had to be more. Huh. I'm not sure where they're at. Can you get the Yoshi here? Not on this stage. I can't get Yoshi. Huh. I wonder where they are at. That's, hmm. oh, that's, uh, that's perplexing. I wonder, if they, I wonder if they are at that Yoshi stage, though. Maybe you wanna, might want to go do that first. <laughs> Don't you think? I think maybe. Oh, I know where it's at. I know where it's at. I know where the secret's at. But um, like I was saying, so after I got my merch, I looked at my wallet and then I looked at um, the CD and I'm like, you know, screw it. So I called the little girl. Her name was Lyric. Cool. And unique I name is unique. I, I called her. I'm like, Lyric, uh, come over here. And then I looked at her and I'm like, pick a CD. 
any CD, I basically, it, she uh, was like, what, are you serious? I'm like, yes, pick a CD. And you should have seen her face. I mean, her face, the way her face lit up, she just couldn't believe it. And to me, that's all that's, that's the most important part right there. I agree. One hearted, 100%. And her mother just thought I was one of the most amazing people she'd ever met. She said I was a blessing and all that fun stuff. And it was just, you know, it did my heart well. And I've been talking about, not to brag that I do all these wonderful selfless things, but I've been talking about it because it makes me feel really good that I did something like that. You know, to, I knew that little girl, that would mean the world to her if she had that CD. You know, it'd mean a lot more to her than it ever mean to me. And that money was really nothing to give her. Yes, it was my last 15 bucks, but that's not the important part. The important part is I helped out a fan and I helped out people in need who couldn't afford it. And, you know... It's been putting me in a really elated spirits. You know, and I you know I go back and I play that incident over in my head and it's just like, you know, you just made a huge difference. And for me, it's all about bringing happiness. That's what I want to do is I want to bring happiness. That's what I want to do for my channel too is just bring happiness and bring laughter to you all doing silly things and doing something I love. <laughs> and... That, as they say, is that. Now, I really got to find out where this uh, secret exit is, so I will cut when I get back, and then Angie can finish talking about her Retropalooza. All right, so we're I'll back. I actually didn't back. really need to cut too much out because, well, it's easy. But uh, this is how I'm going to get all the uh, dragon coins. I don't know if this is the secret exit because if it's not, then I'm really going to have to, like, cut until I can find out how to do it. And I don't, I'm not going to go fly ahead like I did last time, because last time I fly, flew ahead, I ended up almost dying. But anyways, Angie was talking about Retro Palooza, and I kind of uh, interrupted her, so go ahead. I just found six dragon coins in total in that level. Huh, that's not the secret exit. Well, I will uh, huh. see, see you guys when I get back. I don't know where it's at. Walking around at the speed of sound. Go places to go down and follow my rainbow. Can't stick around out there, keep moving on. Cause what lies ahead on me, one way to find out. Must keep on moving ahead. No time for games, I'll follow my path instead. Trust me, you what you can see. Oh, take my, I'll set you free. Follow me, oh, set me free. Trust me, and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through. Follow, follow me, set me free. I'm sorry, I'm too addicted to that song. <laughs> You do realize I'm going to cut in just when you're singing that, and then I'm going to cut when right back out. When you don't show off, don't criticize. I'm just living by my own feelings. And I won't give in, won't compromise. I, for, I, I forgot the lyrics for just a second. <laughs> oh, there we go. I just only have a steadfast heart of gold. I don't know why I can't leave, though it might be tough. But I ain't out of control, just living by my word. Me, why? I don't need a reason. I got my way, my way, yeah. It doesn't matter now what happens. I will never give up the fight. There is no way I will run away from all of my frights. Long as a voice inside me says go, I will always keep on running. There is no way to stop me from going to the very 
talk. It doesn't matter who is wrong or who is right. Don't know how that went. <laughs> Man, you better quit. Make me, make me feel things. Make me feel good <laughs> things. Making me feel if good things. You know things. what I mean. Aha! Please. All right, y'all, we're back. And I could probably leave that in. <laughs> after, after all that singing I was doing. <laughs> An Angie's singing was my good luck charm. And well, what do you think of my singing? I mean, was it bad? Was it decent? Was it okay? Let, let us know in the comments section below which song we're singing. As for me, I thought it was beautiful. Like, it made me feel things. Hey, I can sing a little bit despite my high-pitched, goofy-ass voice and me. Videos, but I'm doing that on purpose just for comedic effect, because I do that shit. Oh, oh, yeah, my favorite. The spikes up the ass. Spikies! <laughs> but I use, like, a kind of different voice when I sing. I kind of use a more lower-pitched voice kind of thing. I mean, there's this one song I love singing sometimes whenever I'm, like, uh... Uh, from Evanescence, I would kind of try to use this other kind of voice. It's really hard to do it without, without the mel the melody sound effect for it. Well, how'd you but, pro how'd you pronounce that? Uh, you gonna make fun of me now? Because I, I, I sang that, I, I said they're in band in Spanish, and they always called it, called them Evanescence, so... Evanescence. Because I always called it Evanescence. Yeah, back when I was in Mexico, it was always pronounced differently, so I got used to pronouncing it that way. I see. I never heard it uh, pronounced that way. That's why I was like, wait, say that again? <laughs> yeah, being raised in Mexico does make you pronounce things a little bit eh, weirdly. Yes. <laughs> that one's hard. That one's really hard to do. And I lost my big mushroom. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> I wonder what Sky think of my singing. He'll be like, he'll make maybe make me sing one of those videos on it on do you know what? <laughs> well, you can actually say what the you know what is. Maybe let me think here because this is the second episode, so this will be two weeks. Now you can't say it yet because I think that's only gonna be once a week. But you. I'm be just gonna say you know what. <laughs> you should be able to talk about it in the uh, next recording session of this. Or, yeah, next time we sit down and record this. Not the next recording session, because so I'm going to try to... If you're still up for it, I'm going to try to uh, knock this world out. But if you're tired, I'm not going to keep you up. Hey, you heard me singing, and that, that singing actually woke me up quite a bit. I might just do more of that every now and then on videos. <laughs> But no, seriously, I, I sing badly on purpose, so that just for comedic effect. <laughs> but I do know how to sing. I'm not gonna lie there. <laughs> People thought I was actually a bad singer. People actually thought I was a bad singer. Glad you guys thought that, because I was pretending. <laughs> I was just too shy to to sing in front of you guys. <laughs> but hey, this video's kind of got to prove it. And hey, better to hear some criticism from you guys, so that way maybe I might make some more cover videos. You never know. <laughs> All right, so I will just cut till I get All right, back. All right, y'all, we're back, and Angie's been dying to talk about this story. So, go ahead. Yay, finally. Okay, uh, so at Ret at uh, okay, so here's the awesome thing. At Retropalooza, so there were a lot of video games there, especially classic ones, and uh, they had this goofy foot controller, which is really crazy. I did record a video of that, which you guys will see later. Um, but the coolest part was I got autographs from famous YouTubers. And you want to know who I got autographs of? Jenna Marbles. <laughs> no. Uh, the Completionist, Gerard the Completionist. I'm sure you all know who that is. I don't know who that is. Well, everyone will know once I say that. But the next one is uh, Boogie... Boogie2988. His Draw My Life video really... I even told him that. He was, he was super nice and gave me great advice to become a great YouTuber. Really nice guy. And of course, you will not believe who I... 
Mike Matei from the Angry Video Game Nerd. You don't know who that is? Nope, never heard of him. <gasps> you don't know who the Angry Video Game Nerd is? How dare you? Yeah, I don't know who that is. Every Everyone in the video game community knows who the Angry Video Game Nerd is. He's the AVGN, the guy, Cinemassacre. He's the guy who... I am familiar with Cinemassacre. That one I am familiar with. I didn't know that was his other name, though. Cinemassacre. I... Yeah, that's him from Cinemassacre. Oh. No, then. But uh, Cinemassacre is also known as the Angry Video Game Nerd. I think it was a part of Screw Attack, too, which I used to watch a lot back when I was younger. Especially their top tens. They make great top tens. Hmm. That's some bullshit. I call boosh. I think I'm just trying to rush this too quickly. Well, you have plenty of time. You've got like 265 seconds, I think. I can't. It's a little bit blurry, so. Sorry if I can't see the thumb, right? I mean, it gives you plenty of time to do this, though, so it doesn't look like too bad. Except that one. That one, you do have to rush it. <laughs> I'm gonna hide it up here. Just chilling. How you doing, Dry Feeling. Bones? How you doing, buddy? I didn't know they were called Dry Bones when I was younger. <laughs> yeah! Get on my level. Sayonara. Watch out for that one. <laughs> yeah, that one killed me the first Dude, time I came this one. I wonder if they're called Dry Buzzy Beetles or something. I'm not sure. I might be wrong about that. I'm <laughs> actually quite positive they tell you what everything's called at the very end of the game. Oh, this one. This one's a pain. Yes, it is. That's why I died last time. Right here is where I died last night, so I gotta, like, really time this. And what I'm gonna do, so I don't keep every us up all night... Save state. I'm gonna use a save state. I called it. Damn I it. totally called it. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't even know if I'm gonna need that save state. These Resners really aren't that bad. They're not that spooky. Not really. <laughs> They didn't even need that safe state. Look at me not having faith in myself. That castle is kind of tough, though. Oh, yeah. So. We'll end it in the ghost house that you wanted to end it in, remember? Yep, not ending it just yet. Where does this take me? Well, it takes me into the back door. But we're not going in the back door. I will show off the back door once we get to Bowser's castle. Yes, because that would be cheating. <laughs> but, um... Let's go to the ghost house now. And then we're going to end this part here after that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yay. Look at that. The green balls have come. <laughs> the green balls of cheese. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> when you told me that if they have the, if they're green like that, they should have it checked out. <laughs> you should? I still remember. <laughs> oh, this, still is, remember. this one's fun. This one's really fun because there's a star that falls under here. Oh, don't forget that dragon coin that's up there. You can kill ghosts. Don't forget that dragon coin that's up there, though. Yep. But I figured I'd just show that off. I, I that was a fail, obviously. And um, I'm gonna. Oh, you just want. Oh, you just wanted to show that off. Okay. Yep. Now this stage, when I was younger, was a ghost house. This is very convoluted and co and complex. I had difficulties getting through this ghost house as a kid. And as you see, uh, see, there are ghosts, there are dragon coins in this stage, so you're going to want to go for all those. I think And big balls of cum. Basically, yeah. I think some of the dragon coins are to the left and to the right. But I think one of them, if you go to the left, I think you can come out to the right. It's like you get on the vlog and then you... Idiot. <laughs> Oh shit, want that star. What? Don't have that star anymore. Oh well, just try to survive through it, I guess. <laughs> Is that the exit right there? Nope. Oh. <laughs> well, you found the majority of the dragon coins now, I think. <laughs> 
Oh, so you just wanted to show off the the other way, okay. I think this is tactically the way you're supposed to go. And you have to do it within a fast amount of time because this is where your secret exit is. All the way in the end, right? Yep. Oh, that's where the exit is. Well, there you go. That was <laughs> quick. There's no secret exit in that, as far as I know. <laughs> I just bought my knee by mistake, Al. <laughs> and I guess you bought, you got every dragon coin that easily, so I guess you're good. <laughs> Actually, I think there is a secret exit in there. Let me see here. Oh, yeah! That leads you to the castle, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna... We, yeah, you'll have to show that off, probably. <laughs> yep. So, I will just, uh, cut till I get to the secret exit. At least you don't have to get the dragon coins. <laughs> this is also true. I can just go straight to the right. You were right, though. It's just that you were... You kind of thought a little too close there. <laughs> You got it! And you got it on your second try, too. That is awesome. And that's how you do that. Yeah, they try to trick you with that one. But now, if you want, you can go to the castle. But I don't want to go to the castle yet. However, we will take on the rest of this, including Bowser, in the next part. So stay tuned for the finale of the main project next time on Let's Play Super Mario World. This has been Joseph K. with... Angel Star 291. We are signing off. Y'all have a great day. Keep it real. And as Angel Star would always say, keep on. Later. <laughs>